When the joint angle increases, the muscle elongates, which is called the eccentric motion. And by focusing on the eccentric motion, or what we call negative training, this allows for up to 50% more force on the muscle. 50%! More force means more muscle. More muscle means more better. Hey guys, today was the eccentric lower workout in P90X3. And just as the, the name implies, it is a lower body workout. And quite honestly, this was probably the the workout that felt the longest. Um, the workout basically is is 14 moves or 13 moves, um, but you and you so you only do about 10 reps each exercise. But you're you're using a an eccentric movement where you really focus on the negative portion of the exercise. So you're basically you know using a slow one two three count in the negative portion so in a squat that's the downward motion of the squat and then you explode up and each one of the moves is 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 done in that way and you really don't have a lot of rest time in between each of the exercises which which is why I think it felt like it was it was one of the longer <clears throat> workouts just felt a lot, a lot longer than 30 minutes uh, with this second block uh, it felt like uh, now that I'm almost through the first week of it it felt like there was a lot of lower body work um, in particular my quads and my calves I'm sorry my quads and my hamstrings were really feeling it as well as my glutes and my hips so this workout um, after everything that was leading up to it was particularly tough in that respect so uh, you might feel the same way when you get to this workout, but um, most of the moves are pretty familiar. Uh, there, there's only a couple that you may um, have never seen before, uh, but, they're, but for the most part, they're you know standard squats, uh, pistol squats, and um, you know actually there's a couple moves that they they borrowed from the P90X and P90X2 workouts. So. Um, they just rehashed them a little bit, and I said, and again, it's using the the one, two, three, slow motion count to uh, to really focus on the eccentric portion of the of the exercise. So, um, eccentric lower again, um, pretty tough workout. I thought that um, you know you really have to pick the right weights here to to get the most out of it. Uh, there are a couple moves where if you just pick a really light weight, you're probably not going to feel it. But then there's also a couple others where you do need to go lighter. And so if you pick a too heavy a weight, you're going to be off balance. You're not going to get all the, the benefits of going through the motion of the exercise in the way that they want you to. So make sure you preview this one and maybe go through some of the exercises that may be new to you with some different weights and see where you're, you're most comfortable but push yourself uh, because you'll really really get the benefits out of this okay guys don't forget the other reviews on the p90x3 workout will be listed in a uh, playlist below uh, you can also check out uh, my website www.yourfitnesspath.com um, and you can find other blog articles and on fitness and nutrition there okay we'll see you next time for the next p90x3 workout Thanks, guys.